Hey guys, welcome back. I have another nail tutorial for you today. It's this Belle floral design inspired by Belle's dress in the new Beauty and the Beast movie that's being released this month. I started off with a good base coat and then I'm using one coat of OPI, my boyfriend Skells Walls, on all my nails. This is a white polish with just a touch of blue and it's very close to this Morgan Taylor polish. This Morgan Taylor polish is called Pots of Tea and it's a little bit sheer so I wanted to make sure I had a base that was a little more opaque. So I did one coat of my boyfriend Skells Walls and then another coat of Pots of Tea on top of that. Pots of Tea is the same color but it has this gorgeous golden flash running through it. I'll also be using several Morgan Taylor polishes from this new Beauty and the Beast collection for this design. And I have a full review of that collection if you want to see that. I'll put a link down below to that if you want to check it out. Once that has had a chance to dry, I'm going to come in with my Winstonia brush. I'll have a link to all the products I'm using down below. And I'm going to start with the detailing. I'm just using a light brown polish here and I'm going to paint on some little stems going up to the top of the nail. I'm just painting these on randomly and a little different on each nail, but I go ahead and do all my nails while I have this color on my brush before I move on to the next color. And now I'm going to come in with Be Our Guest, this gorgeous pinky mauve, and paint on some flowers. To make these flowers look more realistic, I try to not make them too uniform. Because nothing in nature is perfectly symmetrical, I like to do these little lines all around. And same thing, while I have this paint on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and do this to all my nails. And I spread the flowers out in different positions on my nail as well. And then I'm also going to add some smaller blossoms just here and there. I'm going to clean my brush off with some acetone and then come in with this Bevan from Zoya. It's this gorgeous kind of cool toned green. And I'm going to paint on these leaves. And same thing, I don't want to make these too symmetrical, which makes this design really easy because you can't really mess it up if you don't have perfect fine lines. As Bob Ross would like to say, make them happy little leaves. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to come in with the last petal. It's this gorgeous berry toned polish and I'm going to do these dots in the center of each flower. Same thing, they don't have to be perfectly circular. And then I'm going to do some little buds on the end of some of these stems. Now you want to make sure that you're having your artwork go almost to the tip of the nail. You are going to have a French tip on the top, but you want to make sure that the flower pattern is going right up into that French tip. Okay, after you have the flower pattern the way that you like it, I'm going to come in with my blue polish. This is Defy and Inspire called The Bachelor, and this is a perfect color of blue, especially for Belle's dress. So I'm going to go ahead and paint on this French tip. Clean off one side of your brush, and then make sure you have enough polish to make a straight line on the other side. I put this in slow motion so you could see it, but the best way I know to do it is to rotate the hand that you're painting and keep your other hand steady on a table, and that way you'll get a really smooth line. And then kind of curve down at the ends on each side. I maybe loaded my brush a little too much this time, but it's okay if you get any on your skin. You can go ahead and use a small brush and some acetone and clean that off very carefully. And then make sure to give that enough time to completely dry before you do your top coat. And then apply your favorite one. I'm using HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. And that's the final look. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.